Today I want to present a new prototype I've built building. This is the same silly short length as the previous prototype I built, so 45 centimeter length total. But this one, what that's special is that I bolted the front wing directly into the mass, meaning that I move the mass attachment from this position. This is a crazy short fuselage. I moved it all the way forward so that the the holes that I use to bolt the wing goes directly into the tread of the mast. So for reference, this is a silly short uh, for advanced fuselage with a, again, 300 cut to 250 uh, rear stab. This is in comparison to this new one. So you can see in terms of length, this is the same uh, radically short length that I have uh, used before in my previous prototype. It works pretty well for me. This is my right length, so it's much shorter. But look at how much the fuselage has moved forward. So you see the one on top is already the forward plus, 30, uh, plus 40 millimeters. This one on the bottom really bolts all the way up to the front. And what is the result of such modification? It makes the foil a lot more maneuverable because you don't have that rudder effect in the back here that prevents you from rotating the foil around the center of gravity, which is somewhere in, on the front wing. That makes the foil a lot more unstable, but on, with unstability comes maneuverability. So I've already tested it. Uh, to do this, I bolted the foil directly in uh, to uh, existing mass, my no limit one. And just to show you, uh, I did this setup, so it's not yet optimal. In a sense, when, when I wrote it, this part that is not finished yet created a lot of drag. And this, I could feel it, the foil was much uh, slower than my normal one. So it uh, was much smaller. So you can see another picture here. You can see how much forward move, the mast move forward. And you can see here assemble. You see that here, this extra screw is not used. It's just there to plug the hole. These are these two new uh, holes that are used to hold the front wing into the mast. I had to drill this additional hole in order to remove uh, a part of. Uh, so I had to remove yeah this this one in order to remove, uh, in order to bolt this uh, this new fr the, the front wing into the hole that correspond to the the hole that attached the fuselage. So this this is it for this one. And uh, when I wrote it, the main difference is first I noticed in addition to the drag I could feel is I could see that uh, I could see that I'm placed way too much uh, backward. So the, the foil is too much backward. So I'm at all the way the limit forward where I can push the foil with my rails allow and my uh, f rear foot is all the way back where it can be. So even if it's all the way back where I can have my rear foot, uh, I feel that I have to compensate and lean backwards. So it feels a bit unnatural. So the next step will really be to move the foil forward. So with a new board that's purposely designed for it, but while waiting for that new board, I had to make some adjustments. So for instance here, I, I got one of these aluminum foil where I could drill a hole here. So I'm gonna move the attachment all the way. This is about like something like maybe 35 to 40 millimeters backward so that I can really get that additional stability. So when I, I could ride it, it took me a little bit to, to get used to it. Part of it because my position is not right because of the mass positioning, but right away I can, I can feel that it freeze the foil in a sense where not freeze and getting cold, but freeze in terms of getting free. It, it really allows it to pivot. It's a lot more unstable, but as I said, with that unstability comes the maneuverability. So I feel when I'm gonna have spent a couple of days riding this, I'm gonna dial in my reflex to the speed and the, the, the rhythm of the foil, and I feel that's gonna be my go-to. I don't really see on the medium term how I'm gonna go back to the standard foil where the mass is positioned backward. And I think I, I did, so in order to, to test to see if my uh, drag was really due to that uh, that mass that was not uh, polished and that was not rounded, I just machine or I just kind of sand down here 
and uh, access uh, do the adapter in order to make this transition smooth between the the fuselage and the mass and as well as in this case I cut the duda so that it, it feels flush with the uh, with uh, the fuselage so this is the new thing I've been testing so overall it is more maneuverable it is uh, it is more unstable but I think with a little more experience that's really what's going to reveal all the maneuverability of the foil. So I really think there's a lot of advantage in moving that mass forward. It really allows to turn much more quickly. It makes the foil more nimble, more maneuverable. And in this case, it will allow me in a future uh, improvement to really cut down the weight by removing that back part and replacing it with a carbon piece that's going to be much lighter because the only structural part that, hold, that holds the whole thing is that front part. Everything else is the back is only to support that stab, which is fairly limited in size. So if I have a new prototype, again, I'll keep you posted.